Hey gang, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial to go over some of the skills uh, that we talked about in the previous class, specifically the repeating shape uh, theory that I covered in the lecture. I want you to have a really clear example so you're able to follow along and recheck this video at any point if um, you're confused about how this stuff works. So right off the bat, I've got here on the screen, just a digital representation of the exact stuff that we covered in class. So it's nice and crisp and clear. I've got an eye line in this case, you know, above the center, but it doesn't really matter where it is. This uh, theory that I'm covering and this concept will work in one point perspective, two point perspective. It'll work uh, different eye lines, all kinds of different stuff, but this is just nice and clear on the screen. So I've got two lines going to a vanishing point. In this case, it would be one of the two, two point, uh, vanishing points. And I've put two posts here in the ground. And so the distance between these two is arbitrary. I just sort of chose it randomly here. But I want to continue this pattern in perspective and know that as I'm going further away in depth, uh, that they're proportionate to each other. And if the lines were coming towards us, that it would be proportionately growing larger. And so the way that I'm going to do that is really uh, pretty straightforward. So first things first, I find the center in perspective. And if you remember how we do that, you literally just draw a nice clean line from corner to corner, and that will give us the perspective center. Then I'm going to take a line from the vanishing point through that central post. And the reason why is this actual spot is I want to have this particular point marked off because that's going to be the line that I'm then going to carry through for the next one in my sequence. So from there, I'm going to draw a line. You can go from the top or from the bottom up through that central point and where it touches the row, that's where the next line is in my sequence. Once I've done one of these, it gets easier and easier to keep doing them. So I can do the same thing again, draw from the corner up through the middle, that central point. It's really important you get that accurate where it touches the top, that's the next one in the row. Same thing again, I can just keep doing this back further and further in space. As long as I'm accurate and taking my time, can draw those each in sequence. What you'll see here is once I remove those extra lines, you've got those continuous uh, you know, rows getting smaller in proportion. So if I wanna do the same trick moving forward, I could draw from this corner through the center up to the top and where it touches proportionately, that's the next row in sequence. Remove that construction line and there you go. There's a set of um, you know, repeating shapes that are all proportionate to each other, getting smaller or larger in perspective. So it's a very easy way for you to be able to build out things like your simple grids for the basement assignment, or just to do all kinds of different um, sequences in perspective. Hope you find this useful and looking forward to seeing your next assignment.